The OpenGM scanner station allows the creation of several files in PDF format, dividing the scanned images using barcodes. To enable this option, we go to the configuration menu profile configuration. For our example, we edit a profile. In the Convert to PDF tab, we can choose to enable request through a pop-up, which causes the application to ask permission for this during the conversion process. We disable it and select the option Split pages with barcode. We must select an installed barcode written in GIN, then select the barcode. We can see this better with the Request through a pop-up option. We click the Save button and close the window. Next, we access through the profile we edited and start the scanning process. The separator sheet, meaning the one that contains the barcode, must come first. Then, we insert the next page. In this case, we have scanned six documents. We see a separator page with a barcode is first. In the fourth position, we have another separator page. Next, we are going to convert these images into PDF documents, speaking at the separators. We click on the Convert to PDF button. In the pop-up, we choose the option Split pages with barcode separator. Next, we select the barcode reading engine Chosen Z bar EMG. Then we define the text that the engine must recognize as an example of NKM. Now we have the option to remove the pages that contain the separator barcodes from the PDF document. If we do not select this option, the barcode pages will be part of the document. We can also choose whether the OpenGM scanner station forces the file to be converted to A4 format. Here, we will not select any of these options. We accept and see the application has generated two PDF files. The first contains three pages, including the separator. All documents will retain the barcode page due to the option we choose. Starting again, we will have to remove the separators. At the scanned images, we click on Convert to PDF. Here, we select the checkbox that will remove the barcode pages and click Accept. The station generates the PDF files again, but without the separators. Now, we can rename the files and upload them to the DMS. We select a path with the repository and click Accept. In OpenKM, we can now see currently archived the PDF documents.